I wanted to ask you, Ray, because uh, we thought it would be funny if we wore these, you know, and like, and the audience would be like, oh, they're wearing luchador masks like Ray. Are we being disrespectful to Mexican culture? Not at all. You know how many uh, uh, fans go to Mexico and the first thing they look for is a mask? Really? The Rey Mysterio mask, too. Oh, yeah. 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 He's so got it's, that merch. It's, <laughs> it's, part of, uh, it's part of the culture, man. It's, it's, in a way, it's, it's you guys showing respect to, to Lucha Libre. And I also feel okay doing it because you gave me these masks. <laughs> this one you skinned a hamster for. Yes. I the, killed it myself, too. <laughs> <put the> <laughs> Looks no, like Kong. The, so. My old Pomeranian. All right, P. But I know you gave me this mask, this Pokemon, custom Pokemon mask, because I found this interesting. The guy who makes your masks now, correct me if I'm wrong, found you in Japan and was like, hey, try my masks on it. And yeah. what you guys have been working together for uh, what, uh, over a decade now. 96, man. I went to Japan for the first time in 96. And uh, I was in the locker room changing. And they came up to me like, Ray, there's somebody outside that, that uh, wants to speak to you. Like, I don't know anybody here. No, like, oh, yeah. I walk out. It's Hayashi, uh -huh. who I met for the first time, uh, breaks out an outfit and he says, please, can you wear this tonight? So uh, he goes, but once you wear it, I made two masks. The one, the mask that you wrestle in, just, I would love to have that one, but I made an extra one. I said, I don't think it's going to fit me. Uh -huh. And he made it to a T, man. It fit perfect. He's good. And ever since, man, we've been working together. Good. So he, when he found out that you were around WWE, he's like, ah, oh, Logan. He goes, I need to make a mask for him. Please connect me, connect Same. me. So he made that mask for you, it's man. It's so good. The Charizard Pokemon mask, and it fits like, it's so snug. Yeah. Okay, good. Do you feel comfortable with it? Super, except I'm going to take it did off. Did he I'm make this? Did he make this one too? Or is no, this that, just so like, that's uh, two of my uh, costume designers. The guy in Mexico made that one, uh, Busio, and the guy in uh, Japan. It's funny because this is the first time I've ever worn like a mask on this show. It, it gives you a completely different vibe. Totally, like I can totally. Be, like, I can be whoever I want yeah, right yeah. now. When you I was reading the intro, yeah. normally you know how I messed those up. Yeah. I felt so comfortable. Because you were in character. I, I guess, didn't feel like anyone was judging me. Can we talk a little <laughs> bit about, uh, just for the audience that isn't familiar, about the, the heritage of Luchador, what it means to Mexico, and like what, you know, how you, how you brought that into your being, like what it means to you to be a Luchador? So the, the, the mask, comes with the territory it's part of our culture the outfits the capes and believe it or not back in the early 1930s the first masked wrestler as much as i hate to hear this was an american who wore a mask for the first time in a Mexico. gringo, a gringo. We're gringo exactly <laughs> gringo loco yeah. yeah so uh and then uh, after that mask became part of our culture you know um then we related a lot of our designs and our our outfits to aztec and mayans you know, and, and with time, mass became such a popular thing with, with Lucha Libre. For me, growing up around my uncle, like I would see him and I, I couldn't really comprehend what was going on. I would play with him at his house, play wrestle, help him pack his bags. We'd go uh, to the arenas Friday nights when he, would, when he would wrestle. I would get out of the car, he would put the mask on and he became somebody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then all the fans stormed him, autograph, picture. I was like, fuck, this is really cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I want to be yeah. a part of this. He took off the mask. Nobody knew who he was. Wild. Crazy. The dichotomy and of that yeah, is fascinating. You kind of Crazy. followed it up. Do, do you feel like a added amount of pressure? Obviously, you don't know what the other side of it feels like. But do you feel like an added amount of pressure, like having a, a culture and a country kind of like on your back when you go to work every day? Like people that you have to kind of like really show up for? My, my passion for this sport has been very big from day one. So I've never really, especially at a young age, I really didn't feel pressure at all. I felt pressure carrying the name Ray Mysterio Jr. That was a lot of pressure for me because it wasn't just given to me. I had to earn it, you know, and after three years of, of being in the business, my uncle one day presented me with the name without expecting it. So that's when I really felt pressure of representing the name, the legacy of the Mysterio. And then after that, everything just started to come natural, man. And, and opportunities were starting to open up. And I would just, I would feel very confident working under pressure. What inspiration did you take from Jack Black in Nacho Libre? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Go to church every Sunday. <laughs> hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.